This game day preview is brought to you by Asgro DeKalb. The NCC champions and the challengers today. The oldest rivalry in Division II football. I know it's always been the huge rivalry back then. You know, you always hear about back then. And uh, all those former alums and everyone, I mean, that game was huge then. For the first time since 2003, the North Dakota State Bison and the University of North Dakota will play a football game. Our fans are looking forward to this, our players are looking forward to this, our alums are looking forward to this. Uh, UND will be fired up, ready to play, and I think it's going to be a four-quarter great football game. This will be the 111th time these two schools have met, but the first time with both teams being Division I. And even though they aren't in the same conference, the passion from the fans will still be there. It's going to be sold out, UND fans will be there, everyone will be watching, and uh, it'll be good for the state of North Dakota. When describing what the Fargo Dome will be like on Saturday, there seems to be an agreement on what the environment will be like. Electric. The electric, electric atmosphere. UND is off to a 2-0 start for the first time since 2012, including a road win over FBS opponent Wyoming. I mean, it's a big win for anybody to go and beat an FBS school from the FCS level, and uh, that might have surprised some people, but you, you watch it on tape and you see a pretty good uh, UND football team. A key to North Dakota's first FBS win was freshman running back John Santiago, who rushed for 148 yards with two touchdowns. He was a special player. He made people miss. He beat you with speed. Um, you know, he was a powerful guy. I was really impressed. Not to be outdone, North Dakota quarterback Keaton Studsrud threw for three touchdowns versus Drake last week. He looks really comfortable out there. Uh, now granted, this is just through the, the couple games that I've seen, but uh, I've been really impressed with his poise, his athleticism, his ability to throw the football. In order for the Bison to stop North Dakota's offense, they will need the front four to continue their strong start to the season. Really impressed with our defensive tackles right now. I think Nate and Brian are playing really well. Brad Ambrosius is playing at a high level. Greg Menard's doing some really nice things. And then Stanley Jones is coming in and giving us uh, a lift there from a pass rush standpoint. After putting up 586 yards versus Weber State, NDSU will look to continue their success. If the Bison want to do that, they will need to rush the ball against a UND defense that ranks third in the FCS in total rushing yards allowed. They're so sound defensively that they create so many issues because they've got such a great blitz package. The guys know their defense. Um, so they've been playing at a really high level defensively. We, we've got a great challenge ahead of us rushing the football, and we've got to find a way to establish the run. I think the biggest thing is for our linemen to be able to communicate. Um, you know, just, okay, well, this is how we're going to double team to this guy, and just because they present so many different fronts and different uh, looks that we haven't seen so far this year. UND currently has a three game winning streak over NDSU, including a 4 and 1 record at the Fargo Dome. Kickoff is scheduled for 2.30 p.m. Central Time and can be seen on NBC North Dakota, ESPN3, or ESPN College Extra. For GoBison.com, I'm Brett Rory.